is that? No, 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 no. The wrong shit. No. Oh my god. No, 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 no. What's that? No. Oh my god. I do love Spina di Rosula's logo. It was designed by my mother. Have you noticed how it's shaped like a heart? No. You see nothing. You see nothing. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't set my OBS night. <clears throat> Where is that? Benching. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I'm Arcel Gosogelki, your Sega VTuber, and now we're going to play Genshin Impact. And it's been a while. Hello, hello, Scudders and Yukarun. Oh shit, my head. What happened to me? <clears throat> so yeah. Um. Wait, I forgot. Okay, so we're gonna. Do this event. This one. Wait, how many days is this? Oh my gosh, it's lagging. Hmm. Three days also. Okay, might as well do this later. This then this still. Okay. Anyway. Time with the Spina has taught me that carrying an unreliable weapon is worse than not carrying one at all. Why is so <coughs> laggy? Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> I should just start the game. <laughs> Why? What's happening? Wait. I'll, I'll just start the game. Oh my gosh. That was so bad. Let's just go here first. And well, <laughs> where am I? Maybe there. What the? Can we get there? Oh, there we go. Okay. Hello, guys. I, I just got <laughs> defense of the Genshin too. Yes. Hey, hello, yo, what the freak, Polly? <laughs> hello, hello, Polly. I'm just gonna restart my Genshin because it's so laggy. Like, I uh, don't know, no. one FPS. What the freak? It's it's not responding now. What's happening? Holy shit. OMG, akala ko walang audio. Ah, hindi. Inok ko yung... I'm gonna restart my Genshin because... The FPS is so... Bad. The FPS so bad. That, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Real... I need to relaunch. And... What I converge now wala mobile data gamer to ako. No! Wait, no, don't don't watch the stream if you're in mobile data. Or else you're gonna deplete your yes. <laughs> deplete your data. Yeah. I 
think masyadong soft yung mic mo. Oh, maybe I'm just so far away. Hello. Hello, guys. I'm just gonna... There you go. Now I am near my mic. Okay lang sir, papalood na lang ako bukas. Bra, no! ASMR please. How? I don't know how, I don't know how to do it though. I Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hindi ko marinig yung sa speaker ko. Oh. Exclusive go plus 99 sa globe. One, one up. Well, I think, I think that's 18 gig. And may libreng ano. There's also free in Twitch, as, also as far as I know. 7 gig, I guess? 7 gig in Twitch? Or, I mean, like, in uh, sharing sharing apps. So, <clears throat> yeah. But still, it's 99. Well, well, it will expire in a, in a week. So, yeah. I think the extension, the, the guts, I don't know, the go... <laughs> Go surf BE thirty four. I guess, I guess it's already not working anymore. As far as I know. Okay, wait. I'm gonna go back to. I don't know. Game scene. Uh. What's what's the game? Oh there. Please don't lug. Oh my gosh. I think I know why. I think I know why. Oh no, not this one. I'm just gonna remove the... No, 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 no. Remove this. What's this one? I can't remember this scene. What's a long scene to uh, karaoke? Is it PNG time? Na 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 na. I think it's okay now. Okay, we're back. We're back with our uh, game. Okay. Pog we back, yes sir. Vibrant's a love bridge event ending, which is why we're gonna do it now. Go to quest. I back at story quest. Oh wait, I gonna claim this first, I guess. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, navigate. Holy shit, that was so bad. Um. Wait, how many? 90% memory. I'm. Uh, the apps are eating like 90% uh, of memory. Oh. Uh. Hmm. What's this clip? What is this clip? What? Uh, I really want to go traveling. Bruh. I don't mind where we go. You know, we... As long as I have my friends with so, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think the extension, the, the guts, I don't know. The go, go surf BE34. I guess, I guess it's already not working anymore as far as I know okay wait I'm gonna go back to uh, in a week what noise what what are what what noise I didn't I'm watching uh, at the moment the guts I don't know the go go surf BE 34 I guess I guess it's already. No, more. I was about to say that hearing Navi a voice without seeing Navi sounds wrong. Oh, Ow. wait. Oh shit! I'm that lag again. Ready. Oh. Uh, guts. I don't know. Oh. The go. 
Go surf BE 34. Oh my gosh. I guess it's already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> working anymore? As far as I know. Oh my goodness, that was so bad, Polly. In a week. So, yeah. I think the extension, the. The uh, guts, I don't know. The go. Go surf BE 34, I guess. I guess it's all red. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Bruh, good clip, sir! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my gosh, that was... That was not... Is worse not carrying one at all. That was so bad, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god, the lag is real. I never thought she'd see you two together. Hey yo, Kaching in. Kaching, it's been a while. The true power of Ghost Surf. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. Mm hmm. It's kind of. Um. What do you call that? No, 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 it's not weird, but we're not used to um, having Charlotte and Kaching in, in one scene. Okay. <laughs> it's Are you just cool some regional some specialties point. to bring back to Fontaine? Mm. Well, yes. And... <laughs> Gago! What the f- <laughs> Hello, Sora. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Is that that is your favorite the theme, huh? <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's lantern rite is kites. Oh. Dunk it, dunk it, Jonathan, dunk it, dunk it, Jonathan. As the timing, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Speaking of kites, actually, I I uh yesterday I saw a kite. Um, well, just in front of our house. I mean, it's already land crashed, and I think it's already a uh, garbage at some point already that nobody picked it up. And yeah, nasa nyo mukha iya kredim request ko. Oh shit! Right? Pero bang ganon? Sige, I'll just gonna. I'm sorry. Just, okay, remind me next next time. Okay, remind me. Remind me after the stream. I'll I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it. Mm. Liyue Harbor is always changing, so it is only fitting that Lantern Rite should change in turn. The Qixing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember my business meeting with Tian Chuen Ningguang the last time I was in Liyue Harbor? That's what it was about! But, all I really did was use my network to introduce Lady Ningguang to some interesting people. I'm not sure that quite counts as fostering cooperation. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Oh yeah, another story. Um, I used to make... Uh, no, 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 no. My father used to teach me how to make a kite before. Then he made us a kite with my brother. Then... Um, after a while, I missed making or like playing one, I playing a kite. I tried, I tried to make one, but it really looks like garbage. Like it, um, the plastic bag or like any plastic should be stretched out. But what I did is that I just patched, patched, um, patched the plastics, um, over and over. So... It looks like garbage and at some point it really didn't fly. I, I really look pathetic at that time. <laughs> I, I just remember. Yeah, good old days of um, playing kites. Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. 
How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Plus, the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Sounds awesome. Right? I also thought it was a novel idea. Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to purchase from a stall in the harbor. We're having trouble keeping up with demand. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. Cool! Turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys just as much as Paimon! Uh, toys? They're not exactly toys. What are they, though? You see, Miss Kuching? That does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Hmm... Although kites are one of our most time-honored cultural relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. <clears throat> but to me, there's so much more than that. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. There's an old poem that goes, O oh, kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. Wait, it's not complete. Yo. In the past, poets from Liyue used kites to symbolize a feeling of longing or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. That's the coaching we know. Always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. Well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned quite a bit myself. <laughs> as long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned the wind to take it away as an offering. That way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. What about something... more fun? Do you know anything like that? More fun? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, children learned the art of kite making step by step from their elders. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste it onto the frame, and tie on the string. Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. <laughs> hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? The scissored-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. Mm. Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. They could be a useful reference. 
Who are these two? <laughs> that would be a huge help. Great. Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. Hope it goes well. Perfect. We're gonna take a look around. Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honor along with a secret prize. Oh. I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. We'll be there. We got it in the bag. Uh, maybe tone it down a bit, Traveler. What if we don't win? Well, no. It's better to keep a low profile until the competition starts. Then we'll give them a show they never saw coming. Oh, that secret prize is ours. <laughs> yes, actually, that, that's my that's that's what I'm thinking a while ago. <laughs> then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. You bet. Wait, Traveler, take a peek to your right. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Yeah, I see them. Is it just Paimon? Or were they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Hmm, they seem fishy. They seem fishy. The, the Kuching do at the shi- the Shishing! <laughs> the Shishing do attract a lot of attention. True, true. Yes, but something's up. Paimon just has a bad feeling. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? They always seem to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Rite. Oh, Paimon's sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know? Foil their plans before they even begin? What the freak was that? <laughs> you go right, Paimon will go left. Wait, Paimon... Oh, five months. Oh. You know, I'm just gonna. I'll use Traveler here for immersion. There you go. Then. Oh, wait a minute. They add another one. Whoa, okay. Mm. So we have. Kitchen. Something's come up. And Charlotte. I haven't done Charlotte. What's the news? I mean. Mm. Oh, that, uh, that's bad. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hmm. It is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. Whoa! Where did this buddy daddy come from? <laughs> Fuddy duddy. You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy! Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you were up to no good. Tell us everything, starting with your name! Starting with your name! <laughs> uh. One bears no secrets before two such as yourselves. You stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Moon Carver. Oh. For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Hojong. Hojong. You may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. <laughs> Don't think that Paimon is gonna believe you just because you know her name. Let Paimon guess, you're supposed to be Mountain Shaper, right? Indeed. Mooncarver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit. The two of you may call me Jihu. Jihu. Ha! Huh. Looks like you did your research. 
But in our experience, the harder you try to lead us on, the more likely it is that we've got a big fish on our hands. We'll go straight to the Millilith and have you arrested for impersonating a deaf guy. Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. If you really are who you claim to be, perhaps you can prove it? Right. Tell us something that only an adeptus would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. <sighs> During the last lantern rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's supreme cuisine machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Perhaps you have some recollection? The flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion, providing other recipes to boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows. Dabbled? Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain, did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk of amber as soon as one's presence was known? Uh... Did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? This is how you choose to repay that kindness? One is simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. That does not mean you should reveal personal matters so readily. They might think one bears no difference from Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Forget it. One does not have the breath to waste on such petty trifles. I suppose they really are dubbed that day. Well, of, um, on how they speak, actually. <laughs> That might have been more detail than we needed. Seems like you two are the real deal, and Paimon, sorry for suspecting you. <laughs> Fun fact Moon Carver and Aether have the same EN or EN. What the? What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Moon Carver? Wait, Moon Carver? Like. But Moon Carver has a super deep voice. What? Ah. Beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water under the bridge, right? Yeah, the voice range is crazy. Oh shit, <laughs> bruh. Take it as a compliment to the quality of your disguise. Few people will be able to see through it. You indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. Actually, <laughs> actually. Actually, I kind of get where, like, when Moon Carver, when Moon Carver's voice got a little bit high, it's the lowest voice of Aether at some point. Kind of, I kind of get it. Yeah. I'm still curious about something. It's just, I can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but why did you decide to come to the city, Moon Carver? It's not really your thing, is it? Hmm. 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 <sighs> I, I also, I kinda more. Uh, I will understand more if the VF Aether is Mountain Shaper and not Moon Carver, but <laughs> damn, the voice range. <laughs> it, it is but an inevitable, inevitable eventuality. eventuality. <laughs> Bruh. Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainer's move to Liu at Harbor. With Lantern Rite near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. But yeah, I hope... I hope um, Hoyover just um, made, made this to a little bit more decent than just a normal NPC thing. <laughs> Hey. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid. Cloud Retainers, in this case. Exactly, it's a shame, yeah. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now, it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. Huh. So, you're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. 
Given one's understanding, one can only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant disposition. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. To call on her would only invite her rebuke. However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Sure! Leave it to us! Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern ride! Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. <laughs> we shall not depart, just walked away. <laughs> <sighs> we got all worked up for nothing, huh? All that trouble and it turned out to be people we knew all along! Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check out the kite stalls. Paimo wants to see what kinds of kites we can buy to use in the competition. The bigger and prettier, the better. Okay. Genuine. Uh, welcome. Are the two of you looking to buy a kite? Would you like me to go over the different designs? Ooh, a sitting kill swallow! And a butterfly! And... Oh! <laughs> ah, this jade chamber design is our newest. It's been selling like crazy over the past two days. Does it also have a unique meaning? Of course. The jade chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. Tabahan ng utak ng makaisip ng J-Chamber kahit ang kanalay. True, true, because you know, like, uh, the J-Chamber is literally floating. And, yeah, it really symbolizes wealth. So, yeah, I really kind of want to have that also. <laughs> I apologize for the interruption, but are all your wares in order, Miss Genuine? Oh, yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, bamboo, and dyes. All the necessary kite-making materials. Wonderful! I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Wait, it's not Tepe. <laughs> Yilong Wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is like during Lantern Ride. Paimon would love to go take a look. Well, if the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? Bro, it really is. He really is. Monk. <laughs> <laughs> is he has been resurrected? <laughs> is Gaming the guard you just mentioned? Oh, yes, the communications office handles shipments and transports around Liyue. He works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub organizations. Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to spend time with their families, so our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease recently. If you were willing to help out, then I could get a head start on my next appointment. You do seem really pressed for time. We'll help. We expect to be compensated. Oh, oh wonderful. Uh, you will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. Okay, okay, Tepe. <laughs> now, at this time of day, coming should be somewhere in the vicinity. Uh, just follow the main road until you see the head of a Wusho dance costume. Should be on your right. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. It's kind of scary if you imagine when you when you're in this kind of world, then you're just gonna see people look like each other. <laughs> like you're just gonna you're just gonna like. Wait a minute, I know you. You're him. Oh wait, what? <laughs> By the way, do you know my aunt? Everyone calls her Granny Shan. I've heard her mention Gaming before. Apparently he's a nice outgoing fellow and all around good guy. Oh. Okay. Gaming. 
coming. Oh, they're, they're coming. Wait, I thought we had an agreement. A loser buys dim sum tomorrow? <laughs> Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation and I'll pay. Uh, no way, Gaming. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just didn't expect you to come from behind a win like that. <laughs> that was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. Oh my gosh, Talia. The time that you said that, um, Gaming has. <laughs> what do you call that? The ring lights in his uh, eyes. Now I can't unsee it anymore. <laughs> Look at those <laughs> ring lights. Oh no. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, anyway. Perfect. Gaming is here. Game Gaming. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the communications office who needs you to deliver some goods to Elon Wharf. It's eye-catching to me. True. Same, actually. It's because whenever you look at people, you gonna look to their eyes, right? And whenever, like, in this kind of situation, you just gonna notice the ring of lights in his eyes. <laughs> oh! It must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. You gotta go. Sure, go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. <laughs> Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. It must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. Oh my god, so uh, I see a sense gumming is like. Uh, in a VTuber kind of thing, or like an, an, an streamer kind of thing, so I think Gaming is a, is a chatty kind of person. Like, when you're gonna talk to him, um, well, uh, me, I kind of a, uh, well, kind of an introvert? Question mark? Me, I'm only a half half at some point. And. I sense that when I talk to Kami, I'm just gonna drain my energy out. <laughs> eh, it wasn't that bad. It's just some kite making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Kite making materials. I see. I see. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Oh my god. He talks too much. I know, talks too fast. Uh, also, talks too much at some point. Uh, huh? You know us? <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Oh, and please excuse Longzhou if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately. Running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? Uh, no worries, no thanks to the tired actually. So, you here for Lantern, right? Yeah. Yep, it's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elon Wharf and have a look around. Perfect, we'll go together then. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise, you won't be disappointed. Oh my goodness. Order anything? Paimon seems to be drooling already. Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? I'm sorry, Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. Ah. Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. Why? Why is gaming? Sounds like he's in a fast forward thing. Like so fast. <laughs> nope. Our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard, after all. 
Oh, you're a guard? Hey yo. Oh, this... Oh. Round and fluffy, soft and bouncy, jump and bump. Oh. Oh. Oh my... Oh my guests. Welcome, welcome. Oh, why do th why you don't have boys? Just gonna do this fast. food in one place oh my what to do oh okay let's try please enjoy start I just five. Huh? Oh, okay. I get it now. Lol. It's a puzzle. Yeah. Next stage. Wait, j what the hell did Kid just commented in my tweet while she was streaming? Like eight minutes ago. And <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my. So, we need the key. Oh, freak me. Huh. Ano ba? El no sabe? Wait. What's that? Oh! It's the... Oh, wait, people, something. Look at that, it's playing Valorant and... Oh, it's not loading. Never mind, it's not loading, I can't watch. Okay. What the... How can I get there? Huh? What? Oh wait a minute 
Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, freak, no! Oh, yeah, wait, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Alright. Hey, Pickwick is getting it. Yeah, of course. I don't need no instructions. <laughs> hmm. Wait. Easy. Hello Zora, antok ka ba or chinito ka lang talaga? No, I'm I'm looking down, downward. It looks like I'm I, I'm closing my eyes, but I'm just looking downward. Oh wait, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll fix it. Uh, Okay, then I will do this and yeah, there you go. That better. <laughs> Can I test something? Vanish? What does that do though? Can uh Yes, but oh, but. What does that do? What does that do? What does that do? I think it's a night bot thing. Oh, okay. I think I did it. Oh shit. Oh, never mind. No, 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 no. I can do it. Oh my gosh, no. No, it times you out for one second, so basically delete your messages and make you vanish. Though it worked in some other channel. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. No, I'm gonna recall as I made. Oh my gosh, I should have not done that. So at some point I should push this first. Oh shit. Hello Stegotouch. Hello Dreya. Welcome to the stream. 
Yes, favorite streamer. Not not uh, best mod, aka best streamer. <laughs> How do I do this? This should be. Maybe I should. Oh, like that. There you go. Okay. No! There you go. Now come it's McGenshin. Actually, Zhao is already in the banner. Zhao is in the banner at the moment. And at the same time, now I'm true true uh, actually, and that is understandable because you, um, there's already a lot of things you have to do this time. Actually, actually, I I still have I think 15 or 10. Well, I think it's already 15. 15 story quests that I I haven't done yet, and also a lot of I don't know your hangout events out things I the last time I did that is when the hangout event first introduced then after that I haven't done that any so yeah wait so go back and cool sludge yeah oh no yeah Oh, we can pull. We can do that. Wait, can we? Oh, okay. Hey. Uh huh. So Oh shit <laughs> no. You can push this. Wait, you know what? I'll recall. I can't either. Oh, I should have done this first. There. No! No! There you go! Oh wait. Hey. 
I don't like puzzle, my brain hurts. No pain, no gain. <laughs> That's how you train your brain. Yeah, I just think about that for me not to, uh, for, for my brain not to get hurt. Or for me not to think that my brain's gonna hurt. Yeah, think positive. <laughs> yeah, even though it hurts. Okay, so just gonna pull this, push this here. No, 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 no. Then get the key, and then uh, can I get this? No. Well, I can just do this. Okay. Then uh. No. Wait. Uh. No, no more. No more. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Okay, no one reset. Okay. Hmm. We. Okay. I'm thinking there for go but to get the key here. Then gonna push this he here. Then uh oh go but. It's another push. Oh, I can't. Wait again. I think this double oh. hmm. no, 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 no. There you go. There you go. Finally. <laughs> oh, it's done. Easy. That's all. 
4 Yeah, I'm sorry, let's go Rewards, get all the free moves Ay There's no claim on Okay, I'm done with this Do you those full beast and their auspices? Damn, a lot of rewards. Oh damn, that is a lot. Just gonna, we're just gonna save. Yo, happy lantern, right, my dude? And do this. Say. Um, why? Why don't they have voices? Oh, what's this? Oh, wait, so this is a dancing contest. Lion dance contest. Oh. Oh, freak. So this is it. Oh my gosh. This is so bad. Ice cream? Prepare the change. Nobia. It's Nobia. Oh, 
putih kan? My gosh. Oh, go, go. Why am I also bouncing back? Times knocks back eleven. One thousand. Okay. If you collab with another player that turned into a dragon, you get knocked back. Maybe I I'm doing the wrong thing. I kind of figure out what I did there. I. I dash, I dash right after I turn into a dragon form. So the uh, it's gonna be cancelled. So I'll gonna turn back to Anna. Uh, I'm funny because I'm lucky that you're gonna come back. No, no, we got it. Oh, really? I haven't. I didn't notice that. Another one. Let's go, Amber. No, you're gonna lose when you're in red. Okay. Move. Oi. I saw it. Oh. No, move. Go, can you leave? I don't, I don't want to leave. Oh, God. No. 
Ah! No, no. Uy, pute ka. You're doing great though, really? It's always like that. When games that I do well, I hate those games. <laughs> Even though I do well. Yeah, never had a 2k score. Same actually. I, I just got a 1000 something, you know. But it was fun playing at Nahid. Oh. Oh, she has safe zones. You know what? I'll play. I wait, 2.1 Bayon. I didn't notice. I for kind of forgot at some point. <laughs> Pantan. Okay, let's do Sayo. Super spicy. No. <laughs> Shit. Ka. Move. Oh, Spicy, what oh, 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 No. 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 Hey. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Grab it on Jesus go <laughs> Bruh
Okay. Lama claim all. Bro, and dami pa. Six hundred claim outfit. Hey, yo, valor ripples through his robes, his garments steeped in the spirit of the bamboo groves. Let's go invite character. Look for Gami. Wait, what's this? Oh, I'm already done with my commissions. Annoying. Oh, okay, another one. Random. What's this? Oh, it's the it's the one. Dory, let's go, Dory. We greet for money. My throne. I oh, shit. Collect the most large tea bricks. Okay, nice. Kala ko magbumora si Dory. Okay. Wait, did, did she nearly? Or like it sounds like? She didn't already just like she did sound like she was oh understandable. <laughs> you big bully long as you oh yeah yeah. Bruh Yes, let's go get coming. Oh, 
Akala ko, you big... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Free moves. Coming. Oh, yeah, this one. Hey, yo. What do you think? Nice. Okay. I'm just gonna. Let's just. Let's just, just finish. You had gummy na pala? Yeah. So it's C1 already. I haven't. Um. Well, I already built him in terms of um talents and stuff but not in uh but not in uh artifacts thing hello kiori <laughs> how is the big bro i am doing fine i guess yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I guess. I'm really doing great. Doing great at the moment. Let's go. You know what? Let's do with the. Yay, love to hear that. Nice, nice. How are you? How about you? How are you doing? How you doing? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Now we do it. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> we go, yo, yo. Because I, as far as I know, Ningguang has the fastest uh, no. movement speed. Oh god, he. I. What the. Go ham, man! Oh, new game mode though? No, just an event. Kinda laggy. Oi! Mas malaki strides is equals faster. They actually, mas mabibus talaga siya. Um, based from experience na rin. Because, okay, so here's the thing. We we tried to have a race with my friends. And I used Ningguang. Ju by just walking, actually. Ah, no, 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 no. Swimming. With swimming. Did you do the roar? Oh wait, the, I didn't. I didn't see that. Why? Oh, my bad, my bad. Rawr! <laughs> Where's my roar? No, I already did it. Why is Arjal fighting for his life? 
Yes. Because life is hard. <laughs> Yeah, the roar. It's the roar. You know what? That's it. Bakit walang echo po yung roar? We? Oh shit! My sound box is not working anymore. I think. Hello. Haven't that? Haven't checked that in a while. My sound box not working. Hello. It is not working right. Wait a minute. I'll try. I'll try again. Oh shit. Everything died. Oh shit. Bye. Mm. How about this one? Is it working? No? Oh, oh, now, now it's working. Okay. Roar! <laughs> hey, there you go. Now it's working. Okay, now we do Ningguang. Last, last game for this game, for this m m m mode. Mm, I don't know. Game mode. I'm gonna do Ningguang for this one. Um, I hate this. It's kinda okay. Still. No, yeah, yeah, we do Ningguang. We're gonna use Ningguang. Because, um, Ningguang has faster sprint of all of them. Ningguang, Ningguang, Ningguang. There you go. Prepare. <sighs> Oh my gosh, they someone has a this one. I forgot the name, but yeah. The guy? Just press the key. Okay, there you go. You know, it's faster. She's faster. Gago. Ndungko. Oh, palom palo, ay putik. Sige. Go again, but it's cool. <laughs> Told ya. Told you guys. We got you. Oh my gosh. Oi. Don't call a ball again. Oh, Kagi! No, 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 no! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! Even though you knock me back, I'm still winning. Oh shit, my! No! 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 My throne! No! No! <laughs> I lost two points! 
No! <laughs> SMH. I lost two points! That was so hard, no, right? SMH. But yeah, he's fast. Ang laggy nito sa mobile. But it's also so laggy in terms of ping in my end. It's funny kasi binabangga ka pero nakakuha mo pa rin yung tea break. I know, right? Also, like, I didn't know it's. I didn't notice or like, you just gonna bounce back without someone knocking you up. Like, that's the ping. It's Madame's ping, Madame Ping's fault. <laughs> hey, yo, I got this. Oh, it's a blueprint. Look what look what Madame Ping did. Look at the ping. 112. I don't know what happened with that thing. Okay, so let's proceed now. I guess it's here. What the? <laughs> I haven't unlocked this area. Holy shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the frick? Okay, that was so laggy. Hello? Oh. Story quest or world quest? This is freaking a world quest. This is a freaking ro- Oh. Freak my shit. No. Holy shit. Wrong, wrong, I uh, know. Oh my! Like, according to my friend, kahit saan ka daw pumasok for Shen Yu Village, it will start immediately. Oh. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> And well, and well, happy lantern, right? That sent Paimon's not sure that count as an invitation. Uh, where are we? In the <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hate, I hate reading this. I don't want to read this. Yes, my apologies for worrying your friend, but only the two of you have surpassing comp. Compatibility with the local spirit veins, which is why I could only invite you in. Vera, <laughs> we knew it. I hate this shit. You know what? Yes, your names were carried here by the fish that swim and have thus long anticipated your visit. It is a pity that it is now not quite... And I get it, I know. Else I would have invited you to a tea tasting banquet. Speaking of which... Wait, is this working? Oh, there you are. I am quite sorry, but I have a request to make of you. <laughs> the echo. Please speak. Thank you. I presume that two of you have heard of the tea village of Chenyu. Will oh <laughs> Chenyu Bill Showing Village. This land has been famous for its cool fragrant waters since ancient times. The people are of gentle character and live 
pristine pebbles and its streams are exquisite. I hear, I hear a bot incoming. Precisely. <laughs> The waters and soil of Shenya Vale have begun to change recently, as has the scent of its tea. Xiaoying village will inevitably decline should this persist. One hopes that you too can solve the disharmony of the soil and water on one's behalf. The water veins are spread across the mountain. But my power is no longer sufficient, nor, in, nor is the present a good time for me to move about. Thus, I must rely on your kindness and aid. Well, this is all a bit sudden and we need to deliver some goods first. Elsa, wait, I'll try this one. Question mark. <laughs> Parang inipit. Well, Pine One is really like, you know, inipit. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I heard, you are quite direct, but fret not. You are cruel, you are clever, but eh? you, are, you are clever by nature and should perceive clearly the difficulties of. Eh? The difficulties you encounter. You can even perform your delivery first. It is no issue. Still not quite getting it. Yeah, I get it nowhere else. Well then, allow me to share some of the adeptal energy dwelling in the mortal world with you. To aid you in the tra traversing to aid you in traversing the landscape and piercing the fog. <laughs> oh, right. Um, it's nice to meet you. Eh? Um, I mean, welcome to this place. Uh, I mean, welcome to Chenya Vale. Also, happy lantern ride to you. Yup, happy lantern ride. Thanks, even though we were just delivering some goods. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I was quite looking forward to meeting you face to face. And was rather hoping you two would be... Uh, they have new lines for lantern, right? Oh! Oh, damn. Oh wait, I'm in reverb still, but... <laughs> and was rather hoping you two would be magnanimous enough to forgive the impropriety. Yes, now that you have been indwelt with my adaptive energy, Arzel, things will become much more convenient. Now please, try the wonders of said energy for yourself. You may glimpse wondrous spurs of water scattered in the walls of Shenyoville that have absorbed Aaron, adeptal energy, and now float. Use the adeptal energy granted by Fujin to briefly transform into a golden carp fish and enter them. Once you're inside the pearls of water, you can go anywhere you please, and you can hold the jump button to live vertically. This way you can cross over the mountains and forests with ease. Just like the golden carp fish in Legend of Yore. Let's take a picture. Iba yung linyahan when I accidentally started this one. Good thing I didn't start this one. Well, uh, when the when when the yeah. 
<laughs> so yeah, just gonna. It's kind of it's kind of creepy at some point because of those eyes. See, there you go. Wait, what if I talk to her? If I gotta talk to her, I'll. Oh, never mind. Frick me. You're back! Jeez, guys, where'd you go? One moment you were there, the next you disappeared. You scared the life out of me. Uh, we're so sorry. We were just... Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I didn't talk to her before. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> well, the mountain road is pretty hazardous, and it's easy to get lost in the fog. So from here on out, stay close to me. I can't let you. Let's keep going. Whoa, my bagong line rain si coming. Yeah. Oh, interesting. <sighs> also, I forgot to talk with Fujin. Yeah, but anyway. I'm kinda curious what's the line of that for that one. So Whoa. My FPS is dropping. So what's this one? It's just her saying go ahead use the adapted energy card. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Worship the statue. Oh, it's still jungle though. Oh. Drop the smash. Oh, interesting. Steady as stone. Mm. Oh. Now we go here. Oh, the docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. Hang in there. Okay, I thought I'm still in reverb. <laughs> Oh dang. I Wait, get behind test me. How? I'll handle this. How? Whoa! I got careless. Okay. Boom. Smile! Wait, I should have uh... I must leave no Fry! So Nogi! <laughs> Old. Seems like we really can't go anywhere without running into treasure hoarders, can we? Yeah. And oh, it just broke. <laughs> yeah. It's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Paimon was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. Oh. Have you ever heard of wushou dancing? I've heard about it somewhere. Really? Wushou dancing is famous in Chenyu Vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. 
But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue opera. Oh my gosh, the ring lights. <laughs> I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch Wu Shou dancing. So it's not something I do full time. Huh? You have two jobs? How do you have the energy to do all that? How you, how do you also have the energy to talk that fast and talk as much as you can? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. Not really. Just yesterday I stayed up all night playing cards. Oh shit. Pyro uses her things. Not the look though. <laughs> But yeah, understandable. Actually, 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 yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. Mm. So this thing. Where is that? What's that mark over there? Oh, it's that that thing. So that's the fra fragment thing. Don't play. We go. Okay, first fragment. Uh, spirit carp. Okay, first spirit carp. Gaming walks forward and exchanges a, a few words with a boatman near the docks. The next thing you know, he has called for everyone to board the bamboo raft. Finally, we can rest. Ooh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff. And her stomach so empty. How come Paimon doesn't, um, getting left behind? Sorry, well, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? Slowly. I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Leo is just too hilly. Floating up and down so much. Where's Paimon now? Oh, Paimon was finally satisfied and now her poor stomach's empty again. <laughs> I uh, love would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. I love how they... Yes! Talk while the moving. <laughs> uh, you might want to pace yourself there. Or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Paimon never gets too full. Just like, oh, just like you apparently never get tired, no matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, traveler. Enjoy. And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. Gaming seems like a real person, real people person. He can, can get along with anyone and treat everyone person. He makes like a close friend. <laughs> oh, that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Ah. <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road or a big restaurant in the city. But each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter chatter. <laughs> Aww, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> hey, Paimon could be in a good mood anytime she wants. <laughs> you slowly lose yourself in the beauty of surrounding scenery before the little well, but. I don't know what winter melon cakes are, but I want one Don't forget as well, your things and uh, watch those. your step as you get off the raft or you're in for a swim. Cakes. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also want one. 
Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Oh, the elevators. Wait, I took a screenshot of them. I know. Um, while in a boat or the raft. Adeptee. <laughs> Chin you adeptee. <laughs> what the frick? So this is a new place. Huh. Oh. Where should I go? <gasps> oh here. <clears throat> Damn. there I get your fish <laughs> what's that what no oh oh okay then I go up Interesting. Where's the elevator though? Hey. Wait, is this the elevator? <laughs> Call the elevator. <laughs> I actually love this place so much that I bought one of the person the area now, so Sorry, Sumeru and Plantain, maya ka na. <laughs> Wait. <coughs> oh, actually this is really a, a nice place. Oh, I have to unlock this also. You've been there, di mo lang inantay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it's like in Plantain that you have to um, activate it. Well, there's not Plantain, so understandable. Oh my gosh, I thought that's already my stop. Can you add the tea? Oh, this is really a nice place. Hey, yo, TP. Real, yeah. Look at hey, that. I slow down. I'm begging you. Wait, what? Gummy? What is it? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? Hey, Gummings getting tired? That's kind of surprising. I don't <laughs> Adeptee! Oh, well. Uh, how should I put it? Come on, spit it out! Do you see that group of people over there? Those are my relatives. Oh. Wow, you sure have a big family. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. <sighs> They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Unless... Oh, did you do something horrible to them? No, it's not that. I'm just not that good at dealing with my family. Oh. It would be best if we could steer clear of them. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but right now, we've got a job to do. Then we'll just have to sneak past them. Mm, the left side looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. Oh no. Slow and steady wins the race. The eyes. This is the realest Genshin has ever seen. I thought seen during holiday season. The target in all relatives. 
I just end the book. I have this. Um, I have some relatives that I don't want to see also. <laughs> Talia Let's no. Let's wait here for a second. Talia no. Anyway, I will leave. She's gone. Let's go. Can can I put some yeah. rock over there? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I blocked him! <laughs> Turn left, run! Left? Stick close, traveler. No, I'm gonna block the path. <laughs> Your aunt won't see us, I blocked it. Wait, I gotta put some under <laughs> Stick close, traveler. This is when I saw someone I know in public and my touch of battery is low. Yeah, same, same. I'm just gonna block. You can see your relatives if there's to a the big right, rock. Stick close, traveler. Yes. Oh no, it's done. Wow, you guys are good. I'm impressed. Yes, I uh, because I put some rock in. <laughs> that was nothing. It was a piece of cake. Oh, winter melon cake to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of win winter melon cake. You really liked it, huh? Ooh, you know what? I'll buy you a whole bunch and pile them so high you can swim in them. As long as you don't wind up drowning, Paimon. <laughs> hey, Uncle Drigway. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. So, I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yongzan then? Oh, he has a lot of uncle uncles. Yes, thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgway. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, Traveler? I know Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Dim sum! Aw, you noticed what Paimon likes? <laughs> How long have you two known Gami? Mm, uh, a few minutes ago? Oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yilong Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends, you know, just like that. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort, really knows how to look after his own. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. He said his joints were hurting due to the rain. Gaming personally went all the way to Bubu Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from Dr. Baiju, then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? I mean, there is his dad, but, well, ask anyone else. And... Oh. Uncle Yongzan says that he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? <sighs> Feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite making materials, though. Could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before lantern ring. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. A refreshing aroma of lingering after taste of. All right then, deliver it if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? How about we grab some dim sum from Shinya Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Whoa, that's Way too generous of you. Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Sounds good! Paimon never says no to free food. 
So you are Shinya Kiosk then? Alright, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. <laughs> Look at the POV. Paimon. <laughs> anyway, is Gobin's family situation really that complicated? He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Hmm, how should I put it? Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. You seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. I'll try. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. It can say, we provide aid in spades. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? <laughs> well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? I'm almost just joking. But if you're going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. No thanks. We came all this way and still haven't gotten a chance to look around the wharf. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor. That's not a bad, bad idea. All right then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. I just noticed, or I don't know if if Paimon already did that before, but Paimon's already using the pronoun she for herself already, or like she is already using pronouns. I don't know for herself. I didn't notice before actually. <laughs> Gaming is a good kid. I just wish he could reconcile with his family. You're around the same age, so he might listen to you. Please talk things through with him. Okay. Walk around Yellow Wharf. What are you doing here? Huh. The way you speak. One might have presumed you are displeased to be in one's presence. <laughs> yeah. Greeting, Shen Yuan. Shen Yuan. Passerine Herald. Cloud Retrainer, one of the mighty and illuminated Adepti, who has long lived atop of Mount Outsung, now walks amongst mortals under the name of Shen Yuan. Shenyun is passionate about culinary delicacies and delights in del delving into mechanisms and engineering. Though she claims not to enjoy social interactions, she has, in she has extensive connections. Alas, it is rather unlikely that normal folk interacting with her would ever link this jocular and enthusiastic woman with the legendary adeptus would who would marshal the winds to, the to deliver the clouds. Xiaonyun mother. Yes. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. <laughs> Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? Thingamabob. Thingamabob. <laughs> and what's with that huge box next to you? Ah! Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? And what of it? The Qixing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? Um, it's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver told us, or Tia's something and oh 
Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. <laughs> anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along their regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. Huh. Tianyun? Oh, it's Tianyun. <sighs> Did she forget about them? It appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? Fossils? <laughs> <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. Huh? Wait here? You really just gonna ditch us here to watch your stuff? <laughs> oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. Let me go see what she's up to. I'll leave the stuff. I leave the stuff watching to you. Hey, not you too, traveler! Oh, all this time on ditching is super not appreciated. Uh, just come back soon, okay? Paimon, Paimon doesn't want anyone to try and steal the stuff. Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Is he? Sh Yelling, supposedly, or uh, never mind. Now that sounds promising. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Two boxes will do. <laughs> Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Buy three boxes, get ten percent off. Four boxes will net you twenty percent off. Old fossils, though, are the bruh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Twenty percent off four boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping too. Mm-hmm. Actually, I am really the, uh, the eldest with my with our uh, with my Dino siblings. Lore wise, lore wise. Well, actually, yeah, both. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, then four shall suffice. Then four. Hmm, okay. I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? If so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy ten, get half off. What the freaking <laughs> Bruh, the deals, the deals. Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. Bruh. Hmm. Ten boxes. Seems rather excessive. But if one factors in the conqueror of demons and one's disciples... Hmm. Bruh. Ten! A nice round number, don't you think? Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. Sale stock, yeah. <laughs> that is agreeable. One will, um, I will have these boxed up then. Oh, now she she learns how to use I instead of one. Of course, <laughs> of course, right away. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. Perhaps some of my wares might also be of interest to you. Yeah, she has to. Yeah, true. Wait. I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. You'll get nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys Mora can buy here. Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. Crying at these immortal beings who doesn't know how to spend money because they never need it in the first place before. I know, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know. 
Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a demonstration. <laughs> There is no need for that. Uh, mademoiselle. Give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. Ah, oh, of course. Here you go. <laughs> the instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, many watchful eyes surround this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this, a child's plaything no less, it would only invite scandal. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. <laughs> I should head back before he shines in the office. Did your shopping go smoothly? They also remind me how the elder people get easily swayed by sales talk like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, really true. Uh. <sighs> Naturally, one may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks in faculties. Seems like Shen Yun is easily swayed into buying things. That box looks fit to burst already. <laughs> and you too? Are you not here to purchase things? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf. But it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. Mm. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition then? Also? <clears throat> One means to say, you along with all the other youths. Mm. One has been entreated to share one's kite-making expertise. And indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and ejected the next. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. And thus, one will be organizing a kite-making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Who will be participating then? Shuyu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yayo. Who's Shuyu? It's mommy, yes, Gen. Wow, that's quite a few people. It's mommy, Shenyu. Also, this is all pretty well, Shen Shenyun, but Shen it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready made and call it a day. Ha! <laughs> huh. You speak of those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you huh. not? <sighs> Tis nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. Shai is from her... SQ. SQ. Howdy gamer, howdy gun, howdy... Howdy. <laughs> oh, MG Talia, I remember that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 never mind. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy doodle. Howdy doodle. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. Mm-hmm. Mr. Bean Cardell. I wanna... I, I, I speak nothing. One shall not say anything about oneself. <laughs> it is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. 
This composition grants it the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. It is built with a series of intersecting rods that... You just spoiled it. One mustn't out oneself. One... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Brr. Uh, never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's breath. One is better off... <laughs> it sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. So, will you be attending the workshop or not? Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? That seems interesting. All right then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Arrive at Mount Altsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? Oh, it's floating. Uh, it can float? What kind of invention is that? One calls it the floating toting device. <laughs> ha. She seems pretty proud of that one. <laughs> Bruh, I mean... Typical cloud retainer. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident, but everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders. Uh, never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, I I see it now. I see it now. So so cloud retainer is that kind of. I mean, Shanyun is that kind of a person. <laughs> She's too proud of something. Oh, or like too proud of herself that it looks looks funny already. Okay. But anyway, that box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. Thingamabobs. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just uh got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. Oh, what will I do about... Uh, what will I do about you, Paimon? <laughs> all Paimon say is that Xianyun sure does try hard to save face. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? Paimon bet she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. That doesn't... That does sound like something she would do. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself. <laughs> when it comes to an elder, right? Propriety with which one should comport. <laughs> oh. What the hell? That's just the part one? Oh my gosh. Oh. Wait, I'll just fix the camera. There. There. And. There you go. Hope that works. <laughs> Lean forward. <laughs> So what now? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just starting me. Oh, it's just okay. Fast forward! Speed run! No! No! Truly not already painting. I 
PT who who made the script for this one for actually for all for all of yeah. There, that's better. Go to challenge. What the? Oh. Now begin. What? Can I do? Go to. Ready to rumble. Okay. I haven't used uh, gaming yet. Like the time it. it a good hello oh my gosh it's cute wait so healing HP is it it's HP base no? is he HP base I well let's go gumming building yes I just don't know mm. what build and what weapon the fish <laughs> I don't electra sacrificial after the wilderness healed attack will be increased by 24% oh This is ok This is ok <laughs> Yo Hello Hello, Scarlet. <laughs> Thank you for the high ranking. Okay. 
Thank you, thank you. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm currently playing Genshin in a... Oh, there's a chest over there. And trying to finish the quest. Because it will end anytime, like, uh, on Sunday, actually. During the iridescent cloud standing challenges, the <coughs> you must reach your destination. Okay, okay. Let's go. Welcome, Scarlet. Let's go. Start. What? You, what am I going to do? Huh? No! What the? I don't know what I'm doing actually. Basically, no, it's not basic. <laughs> it's not basic. I don't know. Uh, where? Oh, Why? no, again, mother. Never mind. Guys, so the uh, the shit that was bad. I don't know. Yahoo, wait, it's ending today. No, 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 it's not uh, in three or four days. I really need to do that soon. The glowing light, this blind streamer, right? It's not, not, it, it's not noticeable, okay? That's my defense. <laughs> Well, that's it's it's easy at some point, but I haven't unlocked this area yet, and I have to. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay, so this is my first time wandering this area. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Oh, there's a damage. It's it's like he came from Fontaine because his skills have damage. Well, it's like Hota also, but yeah. Oh, what's that? What's this? What's this? Start challenge. Race target location. Oi! Bruh! No, you! This is so far away! Well, I'll do it next time for the commission. I'll do this instead, you know? I didn't know how to do that. It's like I'll, I'll I'll figure out. I'll figure it out someday. 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 Oh, just yeah. Someday. Oh, there's an enemy. Oh, not today. Not today. Not, uh, no, I won't gonna open. I won't open any any chest for today. 
I'm just gonna save it for the commission. So I'm gonna do eight of them for the commissions every day instead of the commissions itself themselves. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what the frick? Where am I? Doggy? What the? Pew pew. Alright, reload. Oh! Okay. I'm gonna put. Interesting. What are the lights though? 